for the virus is not airborne, but can be transferred through contact with blood and other bodily fluids. Go ahead, hurry up. I did a lot of thinking. And I'm finally putting it all together. After talking to you, I'm fully convinced. I've raised my confidence. And I'm pretty positive that I'm ready to go. I'm getting a divorce. That's kind of a quick decision for somebody like you to make. You've only been red pill for three weeks. What did your lawyer have to say about this? Did you tell her, or is this just something you calling me on? I haven't told her, but she knows it's coming. We haven't slept together in a long time. She gotta know it's coming. Well, I guess I gotta catch you up to speed. Because if she knows it's coming, then she's a step ahead of you. Welcome to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, I just want to say, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe. Right. First thing that I have to say to you is, are you sure that you want to make the decision? Because this is a very tough decision that you're going to have to make. You know, when I talked to you a couple weeks ago, you wasn't prepared for any of this, but all of a sudden you are prepared for this type of situation. So the first thing that I want you to do is you got to find a place to stay. That's going to be the most important thing for you to do is to find a place to stay. And the reason why you want to find a place to stay is because you don't want to be around to look at her when all the drama going on. Because the first thing that she's going to try to do, she's going to try to talk you out of the situation. If you constantly stay around her and she don't feel like she can get another man, then she's going to try to argue and plead her way back in and try to settle for what's going on. That's how come it's very important for you to already have a place where you want to go and where you want to live. Just temporary, even if you got to get a nice efficiency apartment that you could just lay low in, that's the first thing that you want to do. Okay, now I've started putting money together in a little private account just in case, you know. So when it's time for me to move on, start getting everything together you know i'm starting to get the the house together where i'm going to go and where i'm going to be that's the hard part but the thing is the money i'm having a hard time placing the money together because she knows how much i make so i'm gonna need some advice on how to hide the money how to put it to the side for whenever i get ready to make my moves she knows how much i spend she knows everything so I'm definitely going to need some advice on how to hide the money. When it comes to the money part, there's a lot of things that you can do. You could go corrupto, but you're saying that she knows everything about you. She knows how much money you make and how do you save. What type of investments do you have? What type of tax write-off? Who does the taxes inside the house? All right, if you and her are getting taxes done by the same person, the chances are she is going to know everything that you're doing, but I haven't told anyone my plans yet. All right. This is just between me and you. And I want you to be able to coach me through this entire thing. I can't do this without you. If it wasn't for you, I'll still be wandering around lost, miserable and depressed. I've gotten my life together. I've been in and out of the gym. The women are starting to look at me. I'm glad you're starting to gain your confidence. And what we talk about is just confidential. So don't worry about it. Your trust is with me. But what I want you to understand is you can't move too fast. You have to stop. Your confidence is gaining, 
all right? But that doesn't mean just up and move. You have to look at the pros and cons that are going to come from this situation, all right? So stop, breathe. You calling me, that's good. But next, what are the benefits? You never talked about your kids. How old are your kids? The younger the kids are, the more thinking you got to do, the more strategy you got to pull. The older the kids are, the easier it is going to be for you to get up out the situation because she may be looking for something fresh as well. So next, look at the pros and cons so you don't get stuck on the short end of the stick. Another thing that you really want to pay attention to that a lot of men don't pay attention to is her. What if she has a plan? What if she's already talking to a lawyer? What if she's going to make the move before you make the move? Because you're just now waking up. You have to understand. Three weeks ago, when you called me, you wasn't confident like this. You wasn't really prepared. So something's happened. And what has happened to you is you're at the woke up phase. When you woke up, so now you're, you're, you're raging. So now you're like, oh, I want to get a divorce. I want to do this. I want to do that. You're ready to move real fast. I understand that. But now you got to stop and breathe. All right. Think about what's going to happen after the divorce. What type of pain you're going to go through getting out of the divorce. So now you got to psychologically start preparing yourself for that little moment. Because if you're not prepared for that little moment, that little moment's going to come back and sting. And another thing that you have to realize between you and her, if the love is gone, this is going to be a war and it will bring out the worst of you. It's going to bring out the worst of her. It's going to bring out the worst of everybody. Love is only a fairy tale where you ignore everyone's flaws until they make you mad. So, when men start going through a divorce, all those flaws that your woman ignored, she's going to start bringing those up. She's going to start bringing those out now. And she's going to use that to dislike you even more. But you know what? I can't trust anyone throughout this process. With everything that she's done to me, I know for a fact. This is what makes women's nature the worst nature. You make the right decisions and you make the right moves. I'll talk to you in a couple weeks, but right now, go take care of those things. Hang up.